Hello friends, welcome back to Mania. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to insert input field values into database. Yesterday, I have already created a database and table. Now I am going to code PHP script for inserting data into database. So as you can see, this is our form coding. Now above this HTML coding, I will write some PHP script. So first go here and write some PHP script. So first we need to include our config.php. This is our config.php. This this file I have created yesterday. So just include this config.php and below this we will trigger our button when button is clicked then the data will save to our database so this is our button coding as you can see and uh, in name attribute this submit will from this submit value we will trigger our form and uh, then form data will then form data will store in database on button click so we will we use here if it set function and we will super global variable post here submit now we will declare all the variables that we want to store into database so first variable will be for our name input field so just name and here we will use super global variable post and just write name and second input value input field is email so we will use email post email second is for phone so post phone and fourth is for city city now now we will write something uh, now i will write a function um, function below this function test input and i will pass a parameter data and then data equal trim and pass here data data strip strip slashes plus data return data so now in our variables we will just test input This function function prevents this function prevents 
screen works uh, prevents uh, a spaces that we uh, enter in field the, um, if we type a space only a space then it will not store any value inside our database so trim is used for this and a strip slices for us uh, uh, when we this removes the slices because we don't want to store slices and this is for html special cares um, that will uh, avoid html html entities in uh, input fields so so we have just used this function now inside uh, no, so below this we will write our sql query insert into so our database name is crud app and inside crud app we have created an table so our table name is user as you can see users so in users and we will write column name here so our column name is name email phone and city so just name em sorry email phone and city and what values we want to store just sorry first name second email third phone and last city so these variables we want to store in the database now we will check my sqli query query we will pass two parameter here our connection and our sql now if this query returns true then so i will write here a variable result equal to nothing and this result is for showing error and success message uh, so we will just result equal to one record inserted successfully successfully and if this query will not run and something went wrong then our else part will skewed and we will show something went sorry went something went wrong now we will echo our results in our form below below this so we will div form group and p class lead sorry and text center and here we will echo our result when something went wrong or in successful so now save this and try so this is our table as you can see and here nothing is in record so just come to the form so 
sorry we have to just remove this line and save now save and refresh so this is our form now i am going to insert some values so first value will be wolf mania wolf mania at the rate gmail.com phone cd rachi and now insert so something went wrong so what is the error let's check here no insert no record inserted here so what's wrong let's check if we want to see what's the error then we can call a function mysqlierrno and let's check what's the error sorry so as we can see here we have not to keep this variable inside single quote that's why the error is coming so we need to write in single quote city now everything will be fine and just remove this refresh refresh and see here one record has been inserted but but delete this and insert again so when i'm going to write mania mania phone city now click on insert so you can see one record inserted successfully now we will now comes to check so as you can see uh, our one record has been inserted successfully so this is for guys now tomorrow we will see how to display data into table view so check our next video tutorial of this crud app tutorial series thanks for watching this video if you like this video then hit on like button and also subscribe my channel